hello and welcome back to my channel this is gabin from design tripe and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to color grade your wedding photos in photoshop so the first thing we want to do is to load our image in camera raw before we do that i'm going to create a copy of this image before we proceed so i'm just going to press ctrl j and now i'm going to load this image up in camera raw if your image is a raw photo it's going to automatically load up in camera raw the moment you try opening it in photoshop so i'm just going to open this in camera raw and once your image is imported the first thing you want to do is to make sure that there are no imperfections you want to correct every imperfection in your image before you get to the color grading stage now how am i going to do that if you look at my image here if you look at the bright gown you realize that the details have all been blown out so to correct that i'm going to bring down my highlights to the lowest points like this and now in bringing down the highlights you see that the image now looks a little hazy so to solve that problem i'm going to go down to this other panel down here under the dehaze setting i'm going to dehaze the image a little like that you don't want to do that too much i just want a little like this i think around this point it's good and once that is done i may want to bring down my blacks a little and increase my shadows brighten up the shadows a little like that and i think the image is looking fairly balanced at this point and now i'm going to continue by removing every color like desaturating the colors in the background because my aim in this picture is to make the couple more visible i want them to pop out more from the background so what i'm going to do now is to desaturate all the colors we have in the background area so to do that i'm going to go to my hue saturation and luminance adjustment um, settings so this is it i'm just going to click on that and here we have the hue the hue is the color so you can change from one color to the other in case you maybe wanted to change your greens in the background to yellows you just have to pull them to this level if that is the kind of look you want if you want your yellows to look greenish you can increase them to this so it just depends on what kind of look you want to achieve you can play with the sliders to get whatever kind of look you want to achieve but now my objective here is to make the couple stand out so i'm going to kill the colors that are in the background by desaturating them so i'm just going to go now to the saturation tab here and the saturation the more if you increase the saturation if you put the sliders to the right it makes the image the, co the colors more saturated like it increases the intensity of the colors and when you pull them to the left it reduces the intensity so if i pull this to the right it increases the intensity of this green if I pull it to the left it reduces the intensity and this is what i want to achieve so i will go to the yellow panel also and i'll reduce the yellows a little but not so much the reason for this is because the skin tones of the couple is found in between the red orange and the yellow layer so you don't want to over tweak this you don't want to tweak this too much so i just want to reduce this just a little like that and then i'm going to go to my luminance tab and luminance determines how bright or how dark the color is so in my oranges i'm just going to push them up a little because the skin tones of the subject is found with more in the orange area of the image so i'm just going to push this up again and for my yellows i'll push them up slightly and for the greens, I'm just going to darken it some more. Aquas, darken them some more. And I think the image is looking pretty good. And it's ready for me to add some color grading. But before doing that, I want to add some more colors to the highlight areas. So I'm just going to go to my split toning setting here. Just select split toning. And here, I'm going to move this hue that is i'm selecting the color which is going to be applied on the highlight area i'm going to increase this color move this hue to an orange color around here and i'll just increase the saturation a little like that 
and once that is applied i'm just going to click on ok and now we are going to be applying the color we want to see on the image this is the last and final step where we apply the color grading on our image so how do we do that just come to adjustment layers and i'm going to select the gradient map and once you select the gradient map the gradient map loads up and applies the colors that were found on the gradients like the previous gradients you used are automatically applied on the image but now for this particular example we want to use a particular type of gradient which is found in photoshop known as photography toning so to activate that that is not activated automatically when you install photoshop to activate that you just need to go to gradients and once you select gradients you click on this button here and you go down to legacy gradients so once legacy gradients is selected now you come to your gradients when you open up your gradients tab here you are going to find several folders you have the basic gradients that is found when you install photoshop and when you scroll down you are going to find the legacy gradients which we just installed now so once you found, find this you go down to photographic toning now it is within this photographic toning that we are going to select a gradient that is going to give us the effect that we want so before selecting the gradient here i'm just going to go back to my gradient map and switch my blend mode here to soft light i don't want it to be too strong on the image so once i select that i'll move this to the side and let me just move this here like this and now i'm going to select a gradient that is going to work with my image so i'm just going to select this if this is the kind of look you want you can save it at this point you just want to play around with these gradients here until you find the one that appeals to you so you just have to select the different options you have here until you find the one that is appealing to you but like i said from the beginning i want to have a kind of sunset effect on my image so let me just select this and i think this one is cool or i select this so any of the two works well for me so let me select this or this and once that is done i'm just going to click on exit here and i may want to reduce the opacity a little if i feel like it's a little too strong on my image i may reduce my opacity a little like that and that is it i may want to modify the image a little just add curves here boost this up a little like that and double click on it a little and i want to apply that brightness only to the bright areas so i'll just pull this split this slider like that and you see how our image looks now we just group everything now and so we can see the before and the after this is how our image looked before and this is how it looks now so that is it for this video if you enjoyed the video please do it to support me by liking subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with others thank you for watching see you in my next video bye bye